The job outlook is just one daunting aspect for refugees who arrive in Michigan. So imagine not only helping people onto their feet, but also passing it forward in our community. I'm joined by Sylvia Williams from She Leads Michigan with today's Heart and Soul Connections. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Julie. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm so glad to have you here. It is important for us to be able to highlight organizations that are making a difference. Today, we're talking about a group with a big impact here and abroad. It's such a great story, Julie. Refuge for Nations is a nonprofit committed to empowering refugee women in Michigan. And through strategic partnerships, they create employment opportunities for women who sew clothing, accessories, and baby products. And like so many organizations, they made a big shift during COVID, putting their sewing talents to good use. We are delighted to welcome Cynthia Khan, founder and CEO of Refuge for Nations. Cynthia, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. You are a former teacher who immigrated to the United States. Tell us what led you to start Refuge for Nations. Yes. Um, so I have lived in four countries, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia for 10 years, Canada for seven years, and then finally, uh, my final destination, the US. And since I have lived in four countries, and I come from Southeast Asia, which is Pakistan. So I have a uh, I've seen the plight of women that how they suffer and what kind of uh, violence and abuse they go through and a lot of um, atrocities that they go through. So that made me uh, think that what can I do to help since I understand their culture, their mindset, uh, uh, the culturally relevant uh, ways how we can help them. So that led me to start this uh, sewing project. We started very small in Dearborn, Michigan, and then uh, now we are taking it to other states also. But it has been very helpful for women because it covers their overall needs. It's not only just just learning in, um, sewing, but also we give them a very comprehensive kind of uh, help, which helps in all parts of their life. That is great, Cynthia. How are you able to take that one little project and grow uh, job training for refugee women by focusing on that one core skill? Yeah. So what happened that when it was started in Dearborn at, at one of the very small locations and these women started coming, uh, so we would start teaching them. And then after some time, uh, they would come and ask me if I could uh, find a job for them. And knowing them very well, their background, their cultural limitations, their language barriers. So I thought, how can they work outside of this place? Because they cannot uh, join the regular workforce because of timings, because of language, and their husbands wouldn't allow them to go um, out for that long. So we came up with the idea to, to create a culturally relevant, safe environment and a workspace for them. And that's what we have created. So. Now they feel comfortable coming there. We teach them sewing skills. Many, many uh, volunteers come to help out. And this is run mostly by volunteers. So it's a nonprofit organization. So everything that we do is for the women to help them out and to create jobs for them. And during COVID, as you mentioned, during COVID, it was wonderful because they could actually use their skill because at that time, everybody was looking for industrial sewers because there was a huge need for making masks and gowns for hospitals and um, all the medical staff. So our th I think our skill that our, our skilled women, they were immediately employed and we worked with a big organization in Detroit. Uh, who had a big project from DMC to make 100,000 gowns, disposable gowns. And we partnered with them. So 
uh, all our women stayed employed throughout this time. And this was such a wonderful, um, I believe, uh, arrangement and a help that, that by God's grace we provided to these women because their hus husbands were unemployed at that time. So they became the breadwinners of, of the family at that time. And that wow. was- Yeah, that the, is great. Cynthia, what an inspiring story, especially during this time with the pandemic, um, as you mentioned, to be able to also give back into the community. Thank you so much for joining us today to share your story. To hear more from the women of She Leads Michigan, head to our website, wlaj.com slash expert connections and click Heart and Soul Connections.